Hi everyone, welcome to Craft and Crochet. Today I bring another so beautiful and really easy and a very valuable baby blanket. This baby blanket is so beautiful and so soft and really easy to make. This is my one of favorite baby blanket. I create beautiful border for this baby blanket. It's come out beautiful finishing. This soft baby blanket is so soft and so comfortable for baby. It's really easy to make, only two rows to repeat. Even beginners can make two. I'm gonna give you all details step by step. I really love this baby blanket. I hope you will love too. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my 100 of 1000 subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. If you miss my previous video, please click on my channel name Craft and Crochet. Under this video icon, you can get my all previous video in here. This all videos are with the subtitle too. Okay, before I start my new blanket, I'm going to show you my finished soft baby blanket. This baby blanket is so soft and so beautiful. I create beautiful border for this baby blanket. It's come out beautiful finishing. I really love this baby blanket. It's so beautiful and so soft. I hope you will love too. This blanket is really nice size. I can't give you exactly this blanket size because this blanket is so stretch. This blanket is really nice size for the babies. This blanket is coming around 43 inches. And this blanket high is coming. This is the rectangle blanket around 40 inches. You can see here coming 43 to 40 inches. It's so soft and so comfortable for baby. It's really easy to make only two rows to repeat. I'm going to give you all detail step by step with this blanket and the border. I'm using white color yarn to make this baby blanket. You can use any color yarn for this blanket. I'm going to give you this full set with this pattern. I'm not finished this cardigan yet. I'm going to give you a full set with the same pattern. I'm using white color yarn. You can use any color yarn for this blanket. I'm using this five yarn ball. Only for this blanket, we need exactly four yarn ball. Only for this blanket, we need exactly four yarn ball. And this border, we need one yarn ball with a little bit more around 30 gram yarn. One yarn ball with a 30 gram yarn for this border. Only for this blanket, we need four yarn ball. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn recommend hook is for this yarn ball have 100 gram, 330 meters. We need exactly four yarn ball for the blanket and one yarn ball with a little bit yarn for the border. If you want, you can use border for the different color or last round for the different color. I'm using only one color. I'm using 4 millimeter crochet hook to make this baby blanket. This blanket is going side to side. Only two rows to repeat. I'm using this stitch counter. It's really useful. If you don't have this one, you can use different color yarn. I'm going to show you how to use this both. To begin, slip knot, a 
and a chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have a ten chain. I'm gonna mark in here one. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have a twenty chain. I'm gonna mark in here two. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use the different color yarn. Now I have a hundred chain. Here I have a hundred chain. I'm gonna use this different color yarn. I'm gonna put this different color yarn behind a hook like this and start the chain again. Now I have 150 chain. Here I have a 50 chain and here to here I have a 100 chain. Altogether 150 chain. This 150 chain is coming. You can make this blanket a smaller or bigger size using this pattern, multiple of this pattern. This 150 chain is coming 35 inches or 89 centimeter. This size without border for this baby blanket. Now I have a 150 chain. 150 chain. This pattern is going multiple of 6 plus 4. Then I'm going to add 4 more chain. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I have all together 154 chain. I'm going to turn this chain to the back side. Skip first chain into the second chain. Single crochet. Into the next chain. Single crochet. Now I have a two single crochet. Next. Skip next two chain one two into the third chain. Skip next two chain into the next third chain. Modern double crochet. Wrap the yarn, go through this chain. Now I have a three loops on a hook. Go through this first loop. Now I have again three loops. Release next two loop. I have a two loops. Next go through this two loops. This is the modern double crochet. Again. Release one. Release next two. Again release this last two. Now I have a two modern double crochet. Three. Four. Five. Six and a seven. Now I have a seven modern double crochet for the this chain. Skip next two chain into the third chain. Skip next two chain into the next third chain single crochet. This is the first shell for this blanket. You can see this back side is coming 3D. Again. Skip next two into the third seven modern double crochet one, two, three, sorry, three, four, five. Six and a seven. Seven modern double crochet. Skip next two chain into this third chain single crochet. Now I finished two shell. You can see in the back side is coming 3D shape. 
again I'm going to show you one more skip two chain into this third chain seven modern double crochet one two three four five six and seven skip next two chain into the third chain single crochet it's really easy to make you can see now I have a three shell it's going this pattern is going skip 2 into this third one 7 modern double crochet skip 2 into the next single crochet follow this pattern all the way to this first row I'm going to show you end of this first row now I'm nearly finished this first row 7 modern double crochet skip 2 chain into third one single crochet skip 2 chain into the third chain 7 modern double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 I have a seven modern double crochet. I have a one, two, three, four chain left. I skip two chain into this third chain single crochet. Now I have a one more chain left into this last chain single crochet. Now I finish this first row. You can see I finished this first row with the Two single crochet and start with the two single crochet end of this first row I have a this 3d shell 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 I have a 25 shell for the first row. It's coming like this. It's the back side is coming 3D shape. You can see it's one row is going with the full shell. Next row is going with the half shell. Start with the half shell and finish with the half shell. I'm going to start now row 2. Row 2 start with the chain 3. I'm going to make loose chain. I'm not going to make a too tight chain. I'm going to make this 3 chain using little bit looser like this. 1, 2, 3. Now I have a 3 chain. Turn your work other side. Into the next single crochet. I'm going to make four modern double crochet this the half shell using this both loop four modern double crochet one two three and a four four modern double crochet this the half shell and here have a 7 modern double crochet skip 3 into this side and this side 3 middle of this modern double crochet middle of this fourth modern double crochet here have a 2 loop using this only back loop single crochet next into the single crochet you skip this three modern double crochet into the single crochet using only back loop seven modern double crochet one 
sorry, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven modern double crochet. Now I have a seven modern double crochet. Skip three modern double crochet into this fourth modern double crochet using back loop single crochet. Now you can see I am um, start with the half shell and here I have a full shell. Again I am going to make another shell into this single crochet using only back loop into this single crochet seven modern double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a 7 modern double crochet. Go through this middle of this double sorry middle of this shell this is the fourth modern double crochet using this back loop single crochet. Next one is going you can see in this back side is coming 3D shell again using this single crochet 7 modern double crochet into this fourth single crochet into this single crochet 7 double sorry modern double crochet follow this pattern all the way to this second row. Now I am nearly finished this second row into this single crochet using only back loop 7 modern double crochet 3 4 5 6 and a 7 7 modern double crochet Using this middle of this shell fourth modern double crochet only using back loop single crochet. Now you can see I'm start this second row with the half shell. I'm gonna finish with the half shell. I have a two single crochet left into this single crochet using both loop four modern double crochet one. 2, 3 and 4 modern double crochet. This is the half shell. I am going to make one more modern double crochet into this last chain. This modern double crochet going for the border. Now I finish 2 rows. This Row 2 start with the half shell and finish with the half shell. You can see this is the half shell. Now I have a full shell for the row 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20, 4, full shell with this both side have a half and half then is coming all together 25 25 is coming half for this side half for other side next i'm going to start row 3 row 3 i'm going to start with the full shell row 3 start with the chain 1 turn you work other side into the same space one single crochet into the next modern double crochet you can see here have a four modern double crochet into this first modern double crochet top using both loop one single crochet now i have a two single crochet skip this three modern double crochet into this single crochet using only back loop here I have a two loop using only back loop. Seven modern double crochet. 
वन टू थ्री फाइव सिक्स सेवन मोटन डबल क्रोशेड नाउ आई हैव अ सेवन मोटन डबल क्रोशेड नेक्स्ट सिंगल क्रोशेड इज गोइंग टू दिस प्रीवियस शेल टॉप स्कीप थ्री स्टिच इन टू दिस फोर्थ स्टिच यूजिंग ओनली बैक लूप सिंगल क्रोशेड Next shell is going to the single crochet. Skip this three stitch into the single crochet using only back loop. Seven modern double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven modern double crochet. Single crochet is going to this previous shell, middle of this shell, using this fourth stitch, single crochet. I'm using only back loop. Now you can see I've finished two shell. It's coming to back side three D. Next shell is going to this single crochet, top of this shell. Single crochet. Follow this pattern all the way to this row three. Now I'm nearly finished this row three. Single crochet, top of this previous shell, using this single crochet only back loop. Seven modern double crochet. Two, three, four. Five, six, and seven modern double crochet. Now I have seven modern double crochet. This is the half shell. Skip first three stitch into this fourth stitch using both loop single crochet into this last stitch. Top of this third chain single crochet. Now you can see I'm start third row with the two single crochet and finish with the two single crochet. Now I have this third row, twenty five shell. Row four start with this same like this row two. Start with the half shell. I'm going to start row four with the chain three. One. It's not too tight. Little bit looser. Two, three. Turn your work other side into the next single crochet using both loop. Four modern double crochet. This is the half shell. One, two, three. And four modern double crochet. Single crochet is going to this previous shell, middle of this shell, using this fourth stitch, choosing only back loop single crochet. This row four is going same as the row two. Next shell is going to this single crochet. Skip next three stitch. Into the this single crochet using only back loop, seven modern double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet is going to the next previous shell using top of this shell is going to the fourth stitch using only back loop. Now you can see row four is going same as the row two. 
follow this pattern all the way to this row 4 I'm going to show you end of this row 4 now I'm nearly finished this row 4 I made into each single crochet to 7 modern double crochet using only back glue and a single crochet is going to this previous shell middle of this the shell using fourth stitch using only back loop single crochet now I have a six and a seven modern double crochet one two three four five six seven next is going to the middle of this shell using this fourth stitch using only back loop single crochet now I'm gonna finish this row into this single crochet four modern double crochet this row I'm start with the half shell and I'm gonna finish with the half shell now I have a four modern double crochet into this last single crochet one modern double crochet now I'm finished row four with the half shell with the I start with the half shell and finish with the half shell this pattern have only two rows to repeat repeat row is the row two and row 3 next row 5 is going same as the row 3 I'm going to show you one more time chain 1 turn your work other side this row 5 is going same as the row 3 into the same space single crochet into the next stitch single crochet skip next 3 stitch into the single crochet using only back loop 7 modern double crochet this row 5 start with the full shell and we have to finish with the full shell same as the row 3 now I have a 3 modern double crochet 4 5 6 and 7 modern double crochet single crochet is going to this previous shell top of this shell skip this three stitch into this fourth stitch using only back loop single crochet now you can see this row five is going same as the row three into the single crochet seven modern double crochet top of this shell single crochet using only back loop now i'm nearly finished this row five i made into each single crochet to using only back loop seven modern double crochet and top up the middle of previous shell using fourth stitch single crochet using only back glue now I have one two three four five stitch and six and a seven modern double crochet this row is gonna finish with the full shell now I have a seven skip three stitch into this fourth stitch single crochet into this last stitch single crochet now you can see I finished this row 5 same as the row 3 1 2 3 4 5 I finished 5 rows this pattern have only 2 rows to repeat repeat row is the row 2 and row 3 now you know this pattern next row row 6 is coming same as the row 2 start with the half shell I'm going to show you how to start this next row is start with the half shell start with the chain 3 turn your work other side into this single crochet 4 modern double crochet this pattern is going one row is start with the full shell next row is start with the half shell 4 modern double crochet single crochet is going to this middle of the previous row middle of this fourth stitch using only back loop next shell is coming to this single crochet now you can see this one row start with the full shell and one row start with the half shell now you know this pattern only two rows to repeat you can continue this pattern to your blanket size i'm going to show you end of this blanket how to start the this border 
This pattern is really easy, only two rows to repeat. Repeat row is the row 2 and row 3. You can see I am start with this 25 shell, 35 inches. Now you can see when you start this pattern, this is coming 33 inches. That means this all stitch is coming together, then is coming all together. When you come in this blanket, all 56 rows, then is coming same size. Follow this pattern to your blanket size. We need all together each side 28 shell. Now I am going to finish this blanket. I made this for this blanket 56 rows. When you finish this 56 rows, is coming each side 28 shell. I'm gonna finish with this 56 row with the half shell. Four modern double crochet into this last single crochet to one modern double crochet. Now we have finished 56 rows. When you finish the 56 rows, you can see this blanket is coming so soft and you can see here coming so stretch. I can't give exactly this blanket size because this is so stretch. I'm going to put this all together. I'm going to give you around this blanket size. Before you take the this blanket measurement, you have to hold this first row and the last row all together and pull like this. Because we make this blanket side to side, then it's coming rectangle shape. We're going to make the square shape for this blanket. This 56 rows is coming around 33 inches, 33 to 35. You can see this pattern is so soft and so stretch. I'm going to make the border now. You can see if after 56 rows, it's coming 33 to 35 inches. I'm going to make 40 inches size. Now I've finished 56 rows. When you finish the 56 rows, you can count easily these rows. When you finish this 56 rows, you have to Count this each side is coming 28 3D shell. This side I have now 28 shell, other side have a 28 shell. I've finished this 56 rows with the half shell. Next I'm gonna start before I'm gonna start the row border for this blanket. I'm gonna put this stitch together. You can see this so stretch for this stitch. I'm gonna make 50. 7 row, chain 1, turn your work other side, into the next stitch, into the next stitch, single crochet, chain 2, 1, 2, into the single crochet, single crochet, chain 2, skip this 3 stitch into this 4th stitch. Using both loops, single crochet, chain 2, into the single crochet, single crochet, chain 2, middle of this shell is coming to this fourth stitch, single crochet. I'm going to show you one more, chain 2, into the single crochet, Single crochet using both loop, chain two into this fourth stitch using both loop, single crochet. Continue this pattern all the way to this row 57. I'm going to show you end of this 57. Now I'm nearly finished this row 57. Chain two, skip one, two, three stitch into this stitch single crochet into this last stitch single crochet now we have finished row 57 now you can see this is top this stitch too much 
Next, I'm going to start the border for this blanket. You can see this side is a half shell. This a full shell is the right side for this blanket. I'm going to start round one for this border. Chain three. Turn your work other side. This the right side for this blanket. This a full shell side. Into this single crochet, one double crochet. Into this chain two space, two double crochet. One, two. Into this single crochet is coming one double crochet. Again into this chain two space two double crochet. Again into the single crochet one single crochet. Into the chain two space two double crochet. Into this chain two space two double crochet single crochet one double crochet. Follow this pattern all the way to this first corner. Now I am nearly finished this first side with the double crochet. I made into each chain two space to two double crochet into the single crochet one double crochet. Now I have a into this last stitch one double crochet. Now I have altogether one hundred and fifty three double crochet for this first side with this first three chain. All together, I have one hundred and fifty-three double crochet. Now, this the first corner. First corner, I'm gonna make chain one into this last double crochet to three single crochet. One, two, three. I'm gonna count first chain for the first single crochet. Then I have a one, two, sorry, one. Two, three, four, four single crochet into this single crochet, one single crochet into this double crochet. Sorry, modern double crochet to four single crochet. One, two, three, and four single crochet into the next single crochet, one single crochet. This side is going into this four single crochet into the single crochet one single crochet into this single crochet one single crochet into this modern double crochet to four single crochet into the single crochet one single crochet. Follow this pattern all the way to this second corner. I'm going to show you end of this second side. Now I'm nearly finished this second side. This the last modern double crochet into this modern double crochet one, two. I'm using this second double crochet to close this space three and four single crochet into this single crochet one single crochet. Now I have all together in this side one hundred and forty seven single crochet. Sorry, one hundred and forty five single crochet into this single crochet, one single crochet into this. You can see this here. I have a two single crochet into this single crochet, single crochet. Now I have a, in this second side one hundred and forty seven single crochet with the first chain. Next, this the second corner. The, you can see this the basic chain. Chain three, one, two, three. This the first double crochet into the the same space single crochet to one double crochet. Now I have one, two, into this chain two space, two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. Now I have one, two, three, four, into this 
sing sorry into this chain we start the shell into the same space one double crochet again into this chain two space it's coming two double crochet into the single crochet one single cro sorry one double crochet this side is going same as the first side into the chain two space to two double crochet into the single crochet one double crochet sorry into the single crochet one double crochet into this chain two space two double crochet follow this pattern all the way to this third corner i'm going to show you end of this third corner now i'm nearly in a third corner into this chain two space two double crochet this third corner is going same as the second corner you can see i'm start this first row with the two single crochet into this single crochet one double crochet this third corner is going same as the second corner chain 3 1 2 3 into this last single crochet we start with this first row with the two single crochet into this last single crochet single crochet now i have a, this third side with this first three chain with the last three chain all together 153 double crochet same as the first side next this the last side into this you have a single crochet this side have a single crochet with the one line and modern double crochet with the one line into this next single crochet one single crochet into this space one single crochet now i have a three into this space four single crochet same as the row second side is going using this second double sorry second modern double crochet one single crochet into the same space single crochet again single crochet line one single crochet into the modern double crochet four single crochet single crochet to one single crochet follow this pattern all the way to this fourth corner now i'm nearly finished this side four into this side i have altogether 143 single crochet now this is the first three chain into this first three chain three single crochet one two three then is coming 147 single crochet this is the first double crochet into this first double crochet top single crochet now i have a this side 147 single crochet this side and this side i have a 147 single crochet this top and this down have a 153 double crochet now i'm gonna make next round this each side same number of stitch next round two start with the chain one round two start with the chain one before i start this round two i'm gonna use the different color yarn to mark this stitch because we are using single crochet then we not lose the any single crochet when you use the different color yarn put this single crochet sorry put this different color yarn around to this chain one skip one double crochet into the next one single crochet again into the next one single crochet this side is going into each double crochet to one single crochet you can see 
I'm using this different color yarn then we not lost any stitch this first side is going into each double crochet to one single crochet follow this pattern all the way to this first corner now I'm in nearly in the first corner now I have a 150 single crochet I'm gonna add two more single crochet into this last two stitch into this stitch one single crochet into this last stitch one single crochet now I have 152 single crochet for the first side round two next this is the first corner first corner turn with the chain three chain three one two three go through this first chain go through this first chain and single crochet next into the next single crochet is coming one single crochet this side is going into each single crochet to one single crochet I'm gonna make this each side same number of stitch follow this pattern all the way to this second corner now I'm nearly in the second corner. I made into each double single crochet one single crochet. Now I have 145 single crochet. I'm gonna make each side same number of stitch. Then I'm gonna make into this last single crochet. This is the last single crochet. Into this last single crochet, I'm gonna make two single crochet. Into this last single crochet to two single crochet together next into this chain three into this chain three two single crochet third single crochet i'm using this second double crochet sorry this second double crochet to close this space three single crochet and into the same space one single crochet top up this double crochet one single crochet now I have a hundred and fifty two single crochet for the second side same as the first side hundred and fifty two single crochet next second corner turn with the chain three chain three into the same space one single crochet into the next double crochet one single crochet this side is going into each double crochet to one single crochet follow this pattern all the way to this third corner I'm going to show you end of this third corner now I'm nearly in a third corner now I made into each double crochet one single crochet into this last double crochet with the chain three into this last double crochet one single crochet into this chain three top of this third chain single crochet. Now I have uh, this side 152 single crochet. This is the third corner, third corner chain with the chain 3 into the same space, one single crochet. This side, this corner is going same as the second corner. The same as the second corner. Then we need four single crochet for this double crochet. Ch sorry chain three then I'm gonna use one two third single crochet I'm using this double crochet to close this space now you can see and again into the same space one single crochet now I have four single crochet into the first single crochet is coming two single crochet together same as the th second corner two single crochet 
next is going into each single crochet to one single crochet then we can get the this each side 152 single crochet follow this pattern all the way to the fourth corner I'm going to show you end of this fourth corner now I'm nearly in the fourth corner you can see I'm mark this stitch with the first round two into this two stitch two single crochet next corner fourth corner turn with the chain three chain three one two three this the first chain you can see this the first chain go through this this first chain for the this first double crochet go through the same space one single crochet now I have a each side 152 single crochet go through the next single crochet and slip stitch next I'm going to use this beautiful border for this blanket round three round three I'm going to use one more slip stitch to go to next single crochet now I have a corner to third double crochet corner to third double crochet of one single crochet next I'm going to start round three if you're going to use the ribbon around this blanket you have to make chain three or otherwise you have to make the chain four now I have a chain four I skip next two single crochet into the third single crochet one single crochet again chain four I skip two single crochet into the third single crochet one single crochet now you can see I'm in a, this this the corner corner to here is coming one more loop end of this round this pattern is going skip two single crochet into the third single crochet single crochet chain four into the third single crochet single crochet if you want to pass the ribbon around to this blanket you have to start this round three with the chain three and I'm not gonna pass the ribbon around to this blanket then I'm gonna start with the chain four follow this pattern all the way to this first corner now I'm nearly in the first corner now you can see I have a two single crochet left chain four one two three four skip this two single crochet into this chain three space single crochet now I have a this chain four with the loop this one two three like this loop 51 loop for the first side I have to make one more loop end of this round for this side then is coming into each side 52 loops each corner is coming one loop corner is start with the chain 4 1 2 3 4 into the same chain 3 space one single crochet this the corner each corner going same way I'm going to show you only one corner chain four skip two single crochet one two into the third single crochet one single crochet again chain four skip two single crochet into the third single crochet one single crochet this each corner is going same way we need each side 52 loop with this four corners coming four loops follow this pattern all around to this blanket each corner is going same way I'm gonna show you end of this round three for this blanket now I'm nearly finished this round three for this blanket border chain 4 
into the same chain 3 space single crochet now I have a 51 loop for the first side I'm gonna add one more loop chain 4 go through this first single crochet and a slip stitch now I finish this round 3 into the next loop slip stitch now I finish this round 3 I have each side 52 loop and each corner have a one loop now I'm gonna start row sorry round 4 now I'm in a corner to third loop this round 4 start with the chain 4 1 2 3 4 into the next loop single crochet chain 4 into the next loop single crochet chain 4 into the next loop single crochet this round is so fast and really easy to make follow this pattern all the way to the first corner I'm going to show you one corner how to turn the corner at the old corner is going same way follow this pattern all the way to this first corner now I'm nearly in the first corner this is the corner chain 4 into this corner loop single crochet chain 4 into the next loop single crochet chain 4 into the next loop single crochet each corner is going same way is coming this corner to single crochet chain 4 and single crochet into the next loop single crochet again this corner is going into this loop single crochet chain 4 single crochet chain 4 single crochet follow this pattern all around to this round 4 I'm going to show you end of this round 4 now I'm end of this round 4 chain 4 single crochet chain 4 into this last loop single crochet into this first loop slip stitch now I'm finished round 4 next I'm gonna start round 5 round 5 start with the chain 4 1 2 3 4 into the next loop single crochet chain 4 into the next loop single crochet again chain 4 into the next loop single crochet this round is really easy and fast follow this pattern all the way to this first corner now I'm nearly in the first corner this is the corner 2 loop chain 4 into this loop single crochet this the corner 2 loop chain 4 into the next loop single crochet this the corner loop now chain 4 into the next loop single crochet chain 4 into the next loop single crochet this each corner is going same way this round 5 have a one loop for the corner this is the corner loop follow this pattern all around to this round 5 I'm going to show you end of this round 5 now I'm end of the round 5 chain 4 into the next loop single crochet chain 4 into the last loop single crochet this is the last loop single crochet go through the first loop and slip stitch now I have finished round 5 it's really easy and fast now my hook on a, this the corner you can see this the corner loop corner 1 
if you count the corner is the 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. In a fourth loop, now I am in a fourth loop. Round 6 start with the chain 2, 1, 2. Into the next loop, 1 double crochet, chain 2, 1, 2. Into the same loop, 1 double crochet. Chain 2. Into the next loop, single crochet. Now you can see I have a 1 V stitch with the double crochet, 2 chain 2 and 1 double crochet. Next, chain 2. Into the next loop, double crochet, chain 2. Double crochet into the same loop, chain 2, into the next loop, single crochet, chain 2, into the next V stitch, double crochet, chain 2 and double crochet into the same loop, chain 2, into the next loop, single crochet. You can see is coming V stitch with the double crochet, chain 2 and double crochet. Next is coming into this V stitch, into the next loop, single crochet. This is V stitch and skip 1 into the next V stitch. Follow this pattern to the first corner. Now I am nearly in the first corner. You can see I have a V stitch, chain 2 into the next loop, double crochet, chain 2 and double crochet, chain 2 into the next loop, single crochet. This is the last loop, sorry, this is the corner loop. Now you can see this is the first side, I have to make one more V stitch for this this loop. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. We stitch we need each side 25. I'm going to add end of this round. Last V stitch. I'm going to show you only one corner. And the old corner is going same way. This is the corner loop. Chain 2. 1 double crochet. Chain 2. Into the same loop. 2 double crochet. This is the first V stitch. I'm going to make one more V stitch. Chain 2 into the same loop, third double crochet, chain 2, fourth double crochet, chain 2, into the next loop, single crochet. You can see this corner have a four double crochet separate with the chain 2. Chain 2, 1 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet, chain 2, 4 double crochet. Next we stitch coming into the next loop, chain 2, into the next loop, double crochet, chain 2, into the same space, 1 double crochet, chain 2, into the next loop, single crochet. This each corner is going same way. Each corner need 4 double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round 6. I am going to show you end up this round 6. Now I am nearly finished this round 6. Chain 2 into the next loop. Single crochet. I made this corner with the 4 double crochet. Separate with the chain 2. I am going to make last V stitch for this first side. Chain 2 into the next loop, double crochet, chain 2, double crochet into the same loop. 
I'm going to finish this round 6, chain 2 into this last loop for the round 6, first loop for the round 6, single crochet. Now I have each side 25 V stitch with the 4 corner. Next I'm going to start round 7 into the next chain 2 space. Into this chain 2 space, single crochet. Around this double crochet, you can see this we stitch our double crochet. Around this double crochet, single crochet. Chain 2. Into this chain 2 space for this V stitch. Middle of this 2 double crochet. 2 double crochet. 1, 2 double crochet. Chain 2, 1, 2, into the same chain space, 2 more double crochet, 1, 2, into the next double crochet for the, this V stitch, front force double crochet. Now I have uh, this first 3 sing chain. 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet, front force, double crochet. I skip this single crochet into this V stitch, double crochet, front force, double crochet, into this chain 2 space for this V stitch, 2 double crochet, chain 2, into the same space, 2 more double crochet, Third double crochet is going to front force double crochet for this double crochet. Next, skip this single crochet into the next V stitch using this double crochet, front force double crochet into this chain 2 space, 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet into the same space. Last double crochet is going to this front force double crochet for this double crochet. Now you can see this V stitch is going with the this two is going front force double crochet into this chain two space two double crochet chain two and two double crochet follow this pattern all the way to this first corner. Now I'm nearly in the first corner. This is the corner. This corner have a four double crochet. Into this first double crochet, front force double crochet, into next double crochet, front force double crochet. Now I have a two front force double crochet. Into this chain two space, three double crochet, one, two, and three double crochet. Now I have two front force double crochet, three double crochet, chain two, again three double crochet into the same chain space. One, two, and three double crochet into the next two double crochet is coming. Front force double crochet, one front force double crochet, and two front force double crochet. This each corner is going same way. Skip next single crochet into the next V stitch using this double crochet, front force double crochet into this chain 2 space 2, double crochet, chain 2 into the same space 2 more double crochet. Next double crochet is going to front force double crochet for this double crochet. Each corner is going same way using this two double crochet, two front force and three double crochet separate with the chain two, three double crochet, two front force double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this each corner. I'm going to show you end of this round seven. Now I'm nearly finished this round seven. Go through this first second chain and slip stitch. 
Now I finished round 7. I am going to start last round, round 8. You can see each corner is going same way. If you want, you can change the color now. If you are going to make the baby girl, you can use the pink. If you are going to make the baby boy, you can use the blue color. Round 8. Into the next double crochet, single crochet. Into the next chain space, single crochet. Now I have a 2 single crochet, chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Go through this first, this 2 loop and single crochet, chain 3, go through this single crochet, this 2 loop and single crochet. You can see when you make the single crochet is coming 2 loop. Again chain 3, 1, 2, 3, go through this 2 loop for the single crochet and single crochet. Now I have a 3 loops, 1, 2, 3, into the same chain 2 space, single crochet. Now you can see I have a 3 petal with the beautiful flower on the top. Next. 3 single crochet using this 3 double crochet 1 2 and a 3 single crochet next I gonna use this round 6 same V stitch double crochet to make long little fuff stitch around to this double crochet wrap the yarn pull this loop again two time and go through this four loops and close this stitch again next this the next V stitch again one more long fuff stitch go to twice and close this stitch now you can see it's coming fuff stitch two single crochet one two into this chain space one single crochet three single crochet again I'm going to make this little flower for this top chain three go through this two loop and single crochet again chain three go through this two loop and single crochet chain three go through this two loop and single crochet Again, I have a 3 petal for this flower into this same chain 2 space single crochet into the next 3 double crochet to 3 single crochet 1, 2, 3 again I am using this same stitch this puff stitch using this round 6 double crochet this double crochet and this double crochet one two and go through this four loop and single crochet again into the next V stitch loop one two go through this all and close this stitch you have to make this long Fuff stitch next again chain 3 and again for this middle is coming same like this flower. I hope you can understand this round is going chain 3 go through the first two loops and single crochet chain 3 go through this loop two loops and single crochet chain three go through these two loops and single crochet I have a three loops go through this chain two space and single crochet again three single crochet one two three go through this first loop sorry first double crochet round six we stitch one this the one 
and make the two puff stitch using this both follow this pattern all the way to this first corner now I'm nearly in the first corner I'm going to show you only one corner at the old corner is going same way this is the corner here I have a two front force double crochet using first one one puff stitch now you can see I'm finished this side is coming so beautiful next this corner here I have a little gap I'm gonna make one more flower middle of this stitch into here into this double crochet one single crochet and into the next two single crochet now I have a two single crochet I'm gonna start one more flower for this middle chain three go through this two loop and single crochet chain three go through the this first two loop and single crochet chain three go through this two loop and single crochet now I have a three loops go through the same space and single crochet next one two three single crochet one two and three single crochet into this corner chain three go through the first two loops and single crochet chain three go through this two loop and single crochet chain three go through this two loop and single crochet now I have a three loop into this chain two space single crochet now you can see I made middle of this V stitch in the corner one flower make three single crochet one two I'm not count this first single crochet one two and a three into here three single crochet I'm going to start next flower in here chain three go through this two loop and single crochet one chain three go through the this first two loop single crochet two chain three go through this first two loop and single crochet three now I have a three loop into the same space single crochet one two single crochet you can see this corner have a three flower go through this corner front force double crochet this the one skip one into the next long fluff stitch into the next V stitch one two go through this all and close this stitch two single crochet into this corner sorry into this chain space one single crochet again you can make the one flower for this V stitch top two and three three loop into the same chain space single crochet this each corner is going same way this each corner is going the same way with the three flower into this first front force double crochet to fourth stitch Ch sing two single crochet first flower three single crochet second flower three single crochet third flower three single crochet and a fifth stitch 
follow this pattern all around to this round I'm going to show you end of this round with this round 8 now I'm nearly finished this round 8 I'm going to make last fourth stitch using this first and last V stitch double crochet make sure when you make this fourth stitch you have to pull this stitch same size you are stitch size long fourth stitch and go through this first double crochet and slip stitch now I finished this blanket with the eight round for the border is so beautiful and so soft I really love this baby blanket I take around eight and a half hours to finish this blanket use this yarn needle to hide this yarn I really love this baby blanket I'm gonna give you this blanket with this matching cardigan and the hat I give you this link in a description down below I really love this baby blanket is so soft when you finish this blanket don't forget to share with me in our Facebook group I give you link in the description down below if you use the last round with the blue or white sorry pink color yarn is coming so beautiful I'm using only one color to make this blanket I really love this baby blanket It's so soft and so comfortable and really nice size for the baby when you finish this blanket don't forget this is the last round and sorry last row and first row and pull like this hold the last row and shake like this then it's coming same each side same size is so soft I really love this baby blanket I hope you will love too if you like this video please thumbs up and share and comment down below see you again with another video